Bye, Chirinos. Bye, my little Ivorino. She really hates how loud I talk. But welcome back to a brand new video. And today, I thought we would go back to House Flipper. Now, I wasn't planning on recording any more of this game, mainly because I always record this for like two hours. I don't mind doing long recordings, but the issue I have is that I can't really get the the edit out of Premiere if my game is too long. So I was kind of like, you know what? I like this game. Like, I do like it a lot. But this, the whole, like, not being able to edit well, it's kind of super annoying me. And then I was playing a really well Valor because I'm actually hooked on that game with my friend Kieran. And he said that he was like, oh, please, please play one more. So I'm like, you know what? I should probably, I should probably just play one more. So... I have just noticed I've got some available skill points, so I may as well just go ahead and do a little bit of upgrading. Such as maybe a bit of a cheaper order. This one, I feel like I'm not really doing jobs anymore, so I don't really see the point of doing that one. I think that's my only skill point. Wow, how disappointing is that? I just thought we'd have a little, little, little teeny tiny check about what kind of houses we've got. Because you guys remember, I absolutely smashed my last house, you guys. I made double the profits. And I did that with like the Claire house vision. I wasn't doing that based on like what I thought was best. I just did it based on like, Claire, you know how to make houses. You are good at the Sims. Just have some faith in yourself, girly. And so that's exactly what I did. So I'm kind of tempted. I am quite tempted by this house. I think it's pretty cool. I think it's like actually a nice house. And we've not had a house that looks really nice from the outside yet. So I'm kind of feeling this one. The other thing I was sort of thinking is should I upgrade my office? But I don't know. I don't get hyped to do that. Whereas I do get hyped to do this. So this is what we're going to do instead, okay? It may be my final home. Let's give it a go. You bought a new house. Let's go. I like how easy it is to buy a house in this game. It's literally just one click away. Like, that would be terrifying in real life. Okay, so let's just, let's just go to the edge of the garden. Like this. I wish I could go out on the street. Like, let me on the street, game. Ali hates it when I do that voice. He's like, Claire, don't do that voice. It's awful. I'm like, I will do it if I want to, friend. I can kind of see where it's coming from. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and do this to the field of view. Because look, you guys, look at this house. We can do something special with this house. It's an awful cute, and it has a garage, which is pretty awesome. I am gonna put that field of view back down right now though, because I'm literally gonna make myself sick. So let's just let's just do a little bit of clearing up, you guys. I mean, why can't I weed? Like, can we just talk about that? Like, why can't I just wipe away the weeds? What is the deal with that? I'm just gonna clean up the outside of the house because. They sure like it when you do a bit of cleaning, you guys. And I'm noticing, like, as pretty as this house is, the blue has kind of seen better days, hasn't it? It's all looking... I know my last house was shabby chic. This one's just, like, straight up shabby. There's no chicness involved. It's just sh shibby shabby. Not shabby chicy. There's a difference. If you're good at homes like me, you guys, you already know that there's a difference, don't you? Look how far this can reach. I can literally get the eaves of the house from here. And I'm enjoying the planters outside the house. Always game for a good planter, you guys. I love a bit of plants. I have plants in my kitchen. I don't know how much of you guys of the kitchen we've shown you guys. But are there still some dirt left? Shut up with your moaning. The house is dirty. Oh my gosh, you're dirty, okay? But I have loads of plants in the kitchen. I put them like on top of the units and they let hang down over them. Like a jungle, that's what I'm going for because I sure love jungles. Oh my gosh, can we just talk about the rudeness of the people at the side? Like, they just need to fully burn. Okay, let's check out the garage. I don't care for garages. I already told you that in the last game. You're just not gonna get me excited by a garage. Like, I don't know. Show me a puppy. Show me me reaching diamond on Arena of Valor. Show me... Oh God, what else is exciting? Ben and Jerry's vegan ice cream. Show me these things and I get hyped. Show me a garage, however, and you're not really gonna get the excitement levels that high. I'm not gonna lie. It's, it's gonna be a hard work for you. It'd have to be like a garage with like a theme park in it. Now we're talking. If you can arrange that, you'll make me a very very happy Claire. There's still some dirt left. I've not finished yet. You guys are disgraceful. <gasps> And you know what? This house, of all the houses we've been to, can I just talk about how this house isn't too bad? Like, the dirt here is minimal. It's more just like a bit of a renovation jobby. I almost feel like I could just, like, clean this and sell it and probably turn around a small amount of profit if I'm being very honest with you guys. I, this is a very honest thing to say. Like, this room's clean. I, I obviously need to wallpaper it. But look at the tasteful pictures on the wall. Oh, this one ain't so bad at all. Oh. <gasps> 
Have I just broken into someone's house? Is someone living here? I didn't really look at what the whole deal with this house was. But I kind of feel like I've just broken into someone's home. Hashtag awkward. But I don't hate this. I'm not going to replace this kitchen. I'll probably tidy up. I'm probably going to knock through because you guys know how much I love knocking through. But honest to God, this house is not bad so far. But a downstairs bathroom. We've got like, the house is laid out weird. Like, let's not even lie about that. And like some of this clearly stuff clearly is selling. Like this rug is like dirt. But I feel like we can do some cool stuff. I think I will knock through the kitchen uh, living area. It's a little bit weird because there's a bathroom in the middle. But that's the only place that has the fittings. The game does restrict your creativity a little bit when it comes to the fittings. Because you, can, oh, you can't really move the bathroom, I don't think. Because if there's no fitting, you can't, you just can't put it in there, guys. You just gotta deal with it where it is and accept that. Sometimes it's more creative, though, if you do that. Oh my gosh, was there just blood on the bed? What has happened in this house? I feel like this house has a weird backstory. Shall we create one? So what happened here is the classic case of both boy and girl move in, have two kids, and then, oh, what's that? The wife was actually a serial killer and you didn't know and she just killed you. There you go. Backstory. What a beautiful backstory as well. I should literally become an author. You guys, I don't know if, I'm just like actually just chatting nonsense while I'm cleaning this house. Sorry if this is a little bit strange, you guys. But you like have a story that you think of in your head that you're like, I could make this a book if I wanted to, like. I literally have a story that I've been thinking of. I'm like, I will turn this into a fantasy romance one day. Maybe one day, you guys. Maybe one day. Okay, she thinks it's perfectly clean. But I thought I saw a little dirt on the side of the house. Maybe I didn't, though. Okay, it's clean. Finally, there is order. Oh my gosh, it's literally taken me five minutes to do that. You need to get a grip. Okay, this is like a cool back room that I think I might turn into, like, a gaming sort of cool room here. And then... This is where I'm going to do a little bit of knocking through. Demolition, here we go. Once you've done it, there's no one doing it. Smash that wall through. We got 26k, you guys. We can make this place pretty cool. I also just had to like go and like blow dry my hair because it's been super hot in England. You probably heard us all moaning on Twitter because if there's one thing to be said for English people, they can't accept it when they've got something good. They have to have a good old moan about it. But anyway, it's been like super hot here up until like really recently. Like too, too hot. Like we don't have aircon units and stuff. So it's been a little bit of a struggle. Uh, I'm just gonna delete everything in this room. Just filling you in as I'm doing stuff, you guys. So you're not all like flushed and confused. Literally the storm kind of broke today and I could hear I was like playing an Eevee with a ball in the garden and I could hear this thunderstorm getting closer and closer and then kapow it was literally pouring with rain and I know that Oliver is like pretty scared of the rain uh, not of the rain of thunderstorms he's scared of thunderstorms and fireworks so I just had to um I was like running around in the rain I also brought in all the garden furniture but running around in the rain like trying to find him and I could not find him I'm so to say but it stopped raining now he's probably under a bush or something but just, just thought to let you guys know <laughs> okay and deleting these because whatever room this is gonna be like it's not just gonna be a weird extra garage I i'm deleting stuff in here because just because I hate it. I hate it. This isn't a hateful kids room though, so that can stay. And then, okay. Oh, look. Look, 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 look. Can you see that dirt? What is that? It's like outside. Oh, there we go. I got it. I got it. I got it. So I'm gonna delete this rug just because nah. 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 <laughs> okay, I think we'll start with the kitchen. Sorry, my hair's like trapped on my ear and it's Sure is itchy. Okay, I'm kind of feeling like, I know this these units are kind of dark, but I feel like once we like brighten up the walls and stuff, they're gonna look a lot nicer. I don't know why that one's so much lower. Can you like get on this level? There you go. Okay, let me just whack a little bit of paint on the walls because I think once I do that, things are gonna look so much nicer. And I updated the game, so I was kind of hoping they might have added some more paints. I don't really know if they have. What's Sand Almond? What color are you? You're not the most hateful thing that's ever existed. And you're more expensive than Bright Peach. Which leads me to believe that you're probably better. But what about if we went a little crazy in here? A little bit lavender. What do you reckon? Nice or hateful? I don't know. Like, this is actually my favorite color. I love sky blue. I might put that in the hallway, though. <gasps> but that's a lot of space to be... Mm, 
I don't know, that's a lot of space for blue, isn't it? So we'll look at some tiles for the kitchen instead. So I just feel like I always, always go for like white. Let's go for white, off white and cream. That's what I do every single time. So I'm like, can I do something a little bit different? Just try something a little bit new. That isn't gonna go with grey, is it? Mmm, hateful. Like, do we- do we just have a little bit more of an experiment in this house? Do I do something like yellow tiles? Guys, you only live once. I am gonna do it. Kapow! Okay, no going back now, and it's really dark. I thought it was gonna be a lot brighter and cooler. Instead, it's super dark. <gasps> Let's just see. Let us just see, guys. Don't judge me yet. Give me some time. Give me a chance. I don't want paint at the back of there, because then when you're cooking, it splashes on it, and then you have to repaint. Whereas if it's a tile, you can just wipe it off. What do you reckon? I like grey and, uh, like, orangey yellow colours together. If I ever got a really loud, crazy car, um, Ali's like, oh, what colour would you get it in? I'm like, orange and grey. And he's like, really? And I was like, yeah. It looks cool, okay? I think orange and grey accents on a car looks cool. Then I have never been known for my taste. <laughs> what colour goes with yellow then? What's like opposite yellow on the colour chart? Wait, is that things that really don't go together or things that really do? I feel like it's things that do. Someone get me my colour chart. I just need a person that does stuff like that for me. That would be pretty cool, wouldn't it? Okay. I actually- Oh, I need to do it on top. But I actually like that, you guys. I actually think that looks quite cool. How does this take a whole strip of tiles? Literally, this is very annoying because that should not take a full strip of tiles. Because, like, now I need to buy a new park just for, like, those five tile spaces. Okay. I actually think that looks really nice. I think if we put a lot of plants in there, we're kind of creating this sort of... I don't know, like, what is that type? What is the style of that? I don't know when it comes to these things, so I'm just gonna go for New England. Guys, we're creating a New England style home. I don't- I think New England is a state? Is it a state? I don't- I don't know. But, what colour goes with it? I, I am literally gonna go get my phone and we're gonna look at a colour chart. Claire, don't take games too seriously. I will take them seriously. This is serious business! Well, I'm, I'm saying colour chart, what I mean is colour wheel. Let's have a look at colour wheel. So, opposite yellow is blue. Okay! Exciting! I sure like me some blue. Guys, we're going all in this time. We're going a little cray. Just a little cray. Also, I just want to check quickly. Can I definitely not, like, put a bathroom somewhere where, like, a new place? This is this really bugs me. I really want to, like, just put the fitting. I can't, though. Fine, fine. I know it's a strange-shaped house. It's gonna look really cute, you guys, once I finish painting it all bright blue. Because I think there's royal blue. Like, I never, I never, ever use these kind of colours. Usually. I'm usually, like, really scared of them. I say we just go a little wild. Oh, I can put them side by side. That's no, that doesn't go. Oh, gosh. <laughs> kind of looks like a child's playset right now. Would it work with my favourite colour blue? Like this. No. Awful. <laughs> I think navy blue. Oh, my God. I can't tell whether this is going to look absolutely atrocious. It's going to make the room look a lot smaller. Like, there's no getting around that. The room is going to look a lot smaller. But what can we do? I mean, I guess... Can you just extend, like, the whole side of the house? No, these walls are thicker. I don't think I can change, like, the boundaries of the house. I wish this stupid bathroom wasn't here because I would just knock that down. I'm scared. I'm scared. I never do this kind of stuff with colour. I'm so scared of colour. But if I wanted to become a house flipper extraordinaire, maybe I just need to go for it, you guys. Look at his speedy hands doing the painting. Wow. So speedy. Okay. I... I can't tell. I know it's really, really dark. But I do... Every house is cream. Like, what's the point if I'm going to do every house the same colour? Like... That's boring. That is boring. And I am many things, you guys, but I'd like to hope I'm not boring. Oh my god, if you met me in real life, I'm so boring. <laughs> I never leave the house. <laughs> my dog is my best friend. And I just sit in the house playing Sims all day long. I've been drinking the same drink since I was, like, 15. Mojito. <laughs> Let's face it, I am quite boring. Same wine as well. Actually, no, I made a big jump from a Merlot to a Malbec, feeling very sophisticated right now. Still won't drink white wine because it's literally a taste of pure chemicals. Okay, starting to feel like I've made a huge error here. But what is house flipping if not 
making problems for the people that buy your home that you won't have to deal with. See, the one thing about house flipping, really, really to do a house flip well is you should be um, buying things in neutral colors so that the people that buy the home can imagine it with their own stuff. Not painting everything royal blue and yellow. But it's a game, like, I should be able to do things in this game that I'm afraid to do in real life. That's what gaming's all about, you guys. Fantasy worlds. My fantasy is that I'm not afraid of colour. What a world it would be. The cool if this game had, like, it needs more stuff in it, because you know what would go nice with this? I could, like, roll out all my, my rose gold accessories or, like, my cool glass table and all that kind of thing. I don't know, like, I just feel like it needs more stuff. That's the good thing about Sims is you can get mods. So I can really have any kind of styling house I want. But you can't do that in this game. You're kind of stuck with whatever the creator wants to add. And he's not the most stylish, you guys. I would know. Look at me painting a house blue. Hello. So stylish. Everyone who usually comments been like, I want Claire to decorate my home is now probably like, I don't want Claire anywhere near my home. In fact, can we ban her from the country? Well, ha. My Irish passport will get me anywhere. So I'm going to come and I'm going to paint your home. And there's nothing you can do about it. Okay. Okay. Wow. I, <laughs> I literally can't even see what is going on right now. Can I turn off the day and night cycle in this game? Day and night mode. Disabled. Goodbye. Because I just want daytime. When you're painting with rooms this dark, you need the daytime, you guys. You need it. Okay, we need some floor tiles for in here. This is where maybe because the walls... Oh, but then I also want to put a nice dark wood floor in. I was going to say, maybe because the, um, the walls are so dark that the floor needs to be lighter. But I actually don't know if I agree with that. I want to see like how this would look. Is this basically what's already done? Yes, it is. Why would I even do that? That would be a waste of money. What? Oh, okay, that's nicer, I would say. Is that? No. Uh -oh. Looks more like fake floor. Oh no, I kind of hate that. <laughs> yeah, that looks better. That other one was too, like, ugh, I don't know, a bit much. I also realized I've just got rid of the paint and I did not finish this stuff at all. In fact, isn't a door meant to go there? Oh, the door's there. <laughs> I am so stupid. Okay, let's just crack on with the worst job in the game. So we can get it over and done with real quick. Look how fast it is now I've upgraded. Every time I upgrade my mop, it upgrades my uh, window cleaner, which is great news because cleaning windows, it's like when I'm cleaning windows, I wanna kill myself. <laughs> it's like a bit of, nice bit of fresh air in there as well, you guys, there we go. Okay, I need to change the floor in here because that's cat as my grandma would say. <laughs> Claire. Usually used to describe perfume, actually. See how this grey looks? Mm. What do you reckon? I think... I think I don't hate that. And sometimes that's the best you can hope for. Oh, that's a wall tile, for God's sake. How long have I been playing this game for? Oh, look, there's the e equivalent, though. What do you reckon? Okay, I'm liking this. This room of darkness where your soul goes to die. I like it. Are you doing? Come on. Okay. Can oh, you know what I need to do, you guys? Obviously, I just need to switch the lights on. It's so much brighter. I'm liking this little corner cupboard. I like that. Okay. 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 Let's bang some plants in. <laughs> My savior to life is just some plants. Plants make everything better. Like, how have you not learned this yet? I've been teaching you this. For so long. Gonna pretend these are like herbs on the window. I have my herbs on the window. Got my basil. It's been alive for a week and a half, I think. Which, if you knew me and basil, you would know is pretty fantastic, you guys. You know what? Let's just let's just knock it out of the park. Let's have a whole line of plants. You've got basil, you've got oregano, you've got um Come on, Claire. Come on, Claire. Oh my gosh, you know your herbs. You put so many herbs in things. Chives, but you don't have coriander because that is the most evil plant of them all. Please fit one more in. Okay, I know it's a little bit out of line. Oh, I'm gonna have to move them all up one. <laughs> Perfection is a curse. My headphones always switch off when I play this game. Like The game is like, you don't get to listen to the music. See? How much better does that look? I feel like a home needs a million plants. I actually feel like that's ridiculous and I'm gonna pick some of them up and put them on here instead. There we go. Okay, what other plants can I put in here? There's only one small plant, isn't there? Like, that's so annoying. Cause like, this one's pretty huge. Like, 
No one's gonna just want that there, are they? It's like, it's not a jungle. Okay, knife stand. This is the kind of thing I was thinking. Oh, there's already one. Well, game, I guess you've got it all figured out, haven't you? Candles. There you go. In fact, let's have a little candle arrangement on this window. Oh, what's that? Bringing back the color scheme of the room into the window piece? <gasps> Why, thank you for noticing. Why is the top bar of this pink? Is that actually gonna be pink? I can't tell until I put it on. Let's have a look. This could be a disaster. Oh, look how blue the wall is when you're up close. It's like, hi, hey, I'm blue. I'm blue. Da -ba -dee -da -ba -da. There you go. Look at that. Bring in the yellow. Oh, it's a little bit of a different yellow. Is it a big old clash? Maybe it is. What other ones did they have? I kind of, let me just see how gray looks. <laughs> this is an expensive and slow way to do things, Claire. But it's the best way, okay? Yeah, the, the... <laughs> The grey looks a million times better. <laughs> like literally a million. One entire million times better. Oh look, we close the window. I want that fresh air in. I don't really get how I'm supposed to make money on this house. Cause one, I've ruined it. <laughs> but two, like there's not like a great deal to do. Let's have a little seat in bit here. I think that will look quite cute. I noticed that wasn't the middle. And it was really stressing me out, so I had to change it. Orange chair, does it class with the kitchen or does it look good? I think it's a little bit of a clash, I'm afraid, which is a shame because that's a cool chair. Where's my yellow chair? This is the only yellow chair, but that's not really the right yellow. That is so bright. It is literally a new sauce. It's like the sun. We could harness that chair. Oh, I'm just going to go yellow. We're, we're trying to be a little bit cool, okay? We're trying to be a little bit cool, a little bit quirky. This is the way to do it. We're appealing to a younger audience. Oh, where are you going, chair? Oh, yes. Yellow painting on the wall. You know it. Yay. Bring that little yellow candle back. Oh my gosh. Yes. More yellow. Because <laughs> there wasn't enough before. But ugh. is it a bit of a silly place for a carpet? Maybe it is. Maybe it is. <sighs> okay. Okay. I'm not hating the way that this is looking so far. Let's move on to our living area. Where there is literally nowhere to put a sofa. Without it getting stuck on a radiator. Hateful. Needs to be blue or yellow. <laughs> oh no, that's so clashy. It, it physically hurts. What about a cow patch? Oh man, you know what? <laughs> it actually kind of goes. <laughs> I think it kind of works. Because it's sort of crazy. Does it? I don't know. I can't do it. I thought I could be all eclectic and weird, but I can't. I should have known. I should have known. I told you guys I'm boring. <gasps> Why would the TV go like that? <laughs> because TV's gonna be here. Oh, this is really hard. Why did you guys set me this challenge? Claire, we didn't. You did this to yourself. Don't say it, guys! Because we need it in every room in every house I've ever done. So we might as well put it here too. Okay, I changed out the sofa for a really big one. But look, it matches the tiles. That's why. There's a lot squished into a small space here. But I think you'll agree. It has a certain charm to it. That's what we're going for this time. Charm. I've really got the art of like randomly displaying pictures. It's just not something I'm very good at. But I'm trying, okay? That looks hideous, but never mind. Okay, you know what? It's not my taste, but I honestly don't feel like this looks so bad. Like, give me a break here, guys. I think we've done quite a good job. I just do. Say this is like a style I'd never normally go for. I feel like, I feel like it looks okay. Like, I think we're, I think it looks quite good. I like the bookcase here. I'm not gonna fill the bookcase, cause you know, I'm flipping out, house, I ain't moving in. Maybe we need something on the floor in here. Wow. <laughs> that would be quite intense. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it at this because I'm starting to get a little bit carried away and things are starting to look a little bit odd. But I honestly, honest to God, I like this. I didn't think I would like it because it's so dark. But I think it looks kind of eclectic and cool. So I'm happy with that. The garage, I ain't gonna be doing a thing to. So if you're a garage fan, I'm sorry. Nothing will be happening in there. Instead, we're gonna go and make this our ultra modern gaming room. I'm gonna go for grey in the gaming room because you don't want it to be like super bright. I don't think you kind of want to get in the zone, you know. How have I spent fifty minutes on this already? Whenever I think, you know what, I'm actually doing a good job today. I'm being really fast. The game's like, no, you ain't. You're slow. You're slow and you're stupid. Okay, all the walls are painted. 
I'm kind of thinking, what do we do with the floor? I don't think you want wood floor in here. It's going to be really echoey, which is going to be annoying if you want to stream. So I am just straight up going to put some nice cozy carpets down. Get a bit of beige. Get our beige on. <laughs> so exciting. There we go. Oh my gosh, the room looks so much bigger, which is great for the gaming. Okay, I think desks that way. And then if you want to play a bit of console here, you've got the TV on this wall. I think that's how we're going to do it. So I kind of always thought it would be cool if you could play consoles side by side. So that's exactly what we're going to be doing today. Because look, then me and Ali can play Skyrim together. Oh my gosh, yes. Okay, I just really want an excuse to use that. So there we go. Okay, that's where the console land lives, and then we need the PC setups as well. Oh my gosh, what is going on with the color of this? I don't know, but I'm obviously gonna go for it. Oh, I don't know if actually corner desks are the best idea. It's not what I originally had in mind. I just wanted to try them. Okay, we're still getting some pretty nice desks, because, you know, just because you're gaming don't mean you can have a really, really awesome desk. That's what I say. And you want to be gaming side by side so you can be like comparing stats and whatnot. Although your microphones, we had this, we used to play. Your microphones are going to get echo, but the people buying the house don't know the hut. I'm going to get these white chairs because you never see these chairs in white. So there we go. And we need some awesome PCs. Look at this one. 700 pounds worth of PC here, you guys. Whoever's buying this house is getting themselves a nice PC. HD monitor. Wow. I know that's meant to be the best one, but there's no way you'd want to play on a screen that big. Like, even this is quite big for gaming, to be honest. What was this keyboard? Why does it have handles? Why does your keyboard need handles? Okay, there we go. They are equal because then... Oh, look, the computer's meant to go in there, isn't it? Damn. Because <laughs> then one person can never be like, Ah, I want that set up because that one's better. No, they're equal. Although this one probably gets a draft from outside, just saying. Okay, there we go. I changed the flower pot colors to make it slightly different. What else do you want in your cool gaming room? Maybe like a bookcase? You can store your games? Lol. Who has physical games anymore? Nobody does. Is that too big? No, that fits. But you could put like your cool weird like gaming uh, stuff in there like I say it like I'm like talking about something I don't understand Literally we have this in our house just like all your weird plushies and whatnot Literally was only part of our setup for like two years Claire. Is that a bit dark? It's a bit dark isn't it? Let's go for a nice glossy grey instead I want a place for documents and books I don't care what you want You don't seem like the type of person would even appreciate a gaming room So your opinion is invalid Thanks for calling, see you again soon. Now, we want loads of carpets and stuff because they are going to absorb some of that sound, which is obviously pretty important when you're doing a bit of gaming. Although the carpets in this game are just like, like, what is that? It's like a tile. Who would put that down? Oh, I've just... Pfft. What if I put it at a bit of an interesting angle? Like, if it's meant to look like that. Okay, that is a pretty sweet gaming room, guys. You've got your console here. I honestly think that's too far away for console gaming, but I am pretty blind, so I'm not gonna force the rest of the world to adopt my strangeness. A little lamp in the corner there as well. I think it's pretty nice. Shall I bang some pictures on the wall? We could pretend they're like Zelda pictures or something. There we go, look. It's Skyrim, Breath of the Wild. Okay, I'm pretty happy with this. I think this is a cool gaming room. I don't even care if the potential buyers want it or not. They're getting a gaming room. Like, if they ruin this, I'm going to come into their house at night and stab them a bit. <laughs> okay, boring time now because I need to do the bathroom. Wait, where is the bathroom? Here it is. going to go for the same tiles as I've got in the kitchen just because, like, I know they're nice. So it just kind of makes sense. And they've got a matching floor equivalent. Uh, sorry, wall equivalent. So it can all be nice and mitchy matchy, can't it? I don't know why I'm talking like super weird in this episode. See, thing action like. At least it's a relatively small area to tile. Then upstairs just needs painting and stuff. Bang some stuff in the hallway. And honestly, I'm done. Because if you think I'm doing stuff in the garden, you've got nothing coming. Sorry, the garage. I can't do stuff in the garden. I probably would do stuff in the garden if the game let me, but the game doesn't let me. I'm still quite a fan of my new found fun sink. You guys told me that they're... Oh, will that not fit there? Oh, first I need to unscrew the pipe. Mm. This just seems like a load of extra work for no reason. You guys said that I didn't actually fit these last time. What I need to do is open them and then assemble it. So, sorry last people in my house. You probably died in the great flood that I caused. So, sorry about that. Bit awkward. They were washed away in the flood. Bang. Close those doors up. I love that sink. Like, I actually just think that sink is so nice. I would have that in my house in real life. For a shizzle. Mirror. It's a bit of a squeezy bathroom, but that's fine. And then toilet goes here. Why is the toilet the only one that's not screwed up? 
Surely that would be like the stinkiest one. That doesn't really go in this house. I think a more traditional toilet goes in this. No. What? No. Why? No, I don't want it to go there. Why? Oh, that's ridiculous. Like, that is full on ridiculous. Who would want a toilet like that faces the shower? Like, no. Is that for some weird couples where one of them showers and the other one just watches from the toilet? You're gonna bang your knees in there. That is stupid. That is super stupid. I don't know. This bathroom started out really cool and trendy and turned into a train wreck. Okay, I put a little table in there just to try and brighten the room up a bit because let's face it, it's kind of depresso. And the hallway is white, so I'm just gonna match this whiteness upstairs. I know they're probably like, oh, why are you putting it white? Why it's the cheapest color? It's also the brightest color, so that's why we're doing it. And that's also the color that's downstairs. And if you think I'm repainting all the downstairs, Yes. You are very sadly mistaken, friendo. That matches, doesn't it? Yeah. I wonder why some parts of this house are like so finished and other parts aren't. I feel like there's more to the story of this house. It's probably in the description and I just did not read it. Painting skill available. Oh, as if I can paint faster than this. Wow. That's it. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Calm down, Hans. You'll break under the pressure. I thought I was like fully upgraded. I'm not even at my final form, you guys. Okay, and I think we're all done. So that's pretty exciting. Of course, I need to clean this stupid window. Yes. <laughs> yes. It's the carpet you know you all wanted to see. Cyan. Cyan. <gasps> Look what I've just realized I've never put up. It's because I don't actually even know what a sconce is is so i've never been doing these up until now but like i feel like i should have been so there you go have it take it oh the frame rate's dropping you guys i have to finish the house quickly no okay i'm just gonna bang a bit of flooring on and like i said i honestly don't think that this room is too bad so i don't think there's a load to do we're just flipping the house like i said we're not moving into it plus the biggest factor my frame rate is dying which means if you guys ever want to see this video, I need to like, I need to end. There, bish bosh bosh done. We need to speed our butts up because, oh, this is the bedroom and I totally removed all the furniture as well. Well done, Claire. What should I do for the bedroom? I'm trying new colors in this episode. So I think we should keep up that theme. We've already done a green bedroom. Why don't we go for bright lavender? It's gonna be a bit girly whirly. The speed at which I paint now is kind of almost frightening. I feel like she's gonna break her arms doing it. Okay, the room is painted. Time to clean the windows. Hey. Oh, gorgeous. Gorgeous bed for a gorgeous room. I don't know where to put it though. Kind of looks like it should be against that wall, doesn't it? But if I put it over here, then I think I can still put like a a uh, wardrobe here? Oh, it's just a bit too big. Uh, there. Big gorgeous book bookcase? Wardrobe. Bedside table, Hermes. That is literally, that's an Ikea bedroom. That is the Ikea, um, sorry, it's an Ikea bedside table for sure. Like, I recognize it. None of those colors are gonna work with what I've got though. That's from Ikea as well. How have I never noticed all this stuff before? Oh, none of it goes. Like, bun that. I don't want that because it doesn't go. Okay, dressing table. What else do you have in your bedroom, really? <laughs> is there much more? Oh, the carpet's pretty rough, isn't it? I think that's better. <laughs> it's not very nice. <laughs> it's not very nice, is it? But never mind. God, this room's a nightmare. Everything else was nice, and then I got in here, and it's all got a bit to Pete Tong, hasn't it? Oh, look at that. There we go. Nice. The, the pictures have maybe pulled it back. You guys are gonna have to let me know. There's not much save in this room, let's face it. Just give him loads of plants. If your room's ugly, at least you've got nice oxygen. There you go. Oh, you need some curtains. Oh, you don't ask for much, do you? There we go. Yeah, let's just close the door on that one, and then we don't have to look at it. But we have the Babby's room. Like upstairs is genuinely a bit of a mess. Let's just kind of breeze past it a little bit. <gasps> What's this room? Oh my gosh, I forgot about this room. I might as well just put another bedroom in there, right? Might as well. It's gonna be like space. Think of it that way. Space room. You know you want it. You know you want to sleep on that weird space bed. I want just one bedroom. A young couple needs to have a comfortable bed. Why, why would you not sleep in this bed, you idiots? Not all that nonsense to me. There's your little space book where you can write down 
All your space observations. Look, this rug is really bringing the room to life because it's completely different from anyone else's in there. Obviously, you need a plant. I don't know why you'd question that at this point. Okay, guys, I think we are done. As a recap, this, I, I like this room. It's my most bold room ever, and I like it. Okay, so that's your living space. And then you've got the gaming room. Okay, this is probably the pinnacle of the house. Because this right here is, why am I holding a hammer? This is the reason you buy this house, guys. A gaming room, so you can game as a couple. Couples that game together stay together. That's what we say. Ali and I are playing Nier Automatica at the moment, and it's really hard. And then there's also the garage here, which I'm not doing anything with because everybody hates garages, just like everybody hates Raymond. So there we go. Close all the doors, make sure there's no drafts going around the house. And let's go ahead and put this bad boy- oh, wow, rude. Let's put- this bad boy right here on the market. It's a nice house. Look inside at that really blue wall. That's what you're greeted with, you guys. That's what you guys wanted to see when you first looked at a house. A huge blue wall. Don't even pretend you don't want it. Okay, you bought this house for £118,000. You've been working on it for two hours. I don't know how much I spent on it. My budget is £17,000. That, is that how much I've spent? No, that's how much I've got left. And I had 26, so I've spent about 10k on it. Let's start the auction, guys. A big bedroom, how sweet. I don't understand what I need a kitchen for. You're useless. Georgie O'Shauna. I, I don't understand the point of that man because he doesn't even want a kitchen, so why even looking at houses? Just go, go to New York. There's no kitchens there, just go to New York. Okay, people are saying too many bedrooms. Only wanted one bedroom. Oh, oh, <gasps> look at the prices though. Can we get 200k? There's no big family room. Uh, There's a gaming room. That's way better. Uh, Veronica Lipston, she's swooped in there. She likes all the pictures. She only wants one bedroom though. And then we've got the Jan Tart family who are pretty old. Too many rooms. And then babies love to, oh, they always say that. Oh, we actually made a Smoth family sale. <gasps> okay, they are offering 193. Guys, I am gonna be bold. I am gonna ask for, should I just go 10? Should I go 15? Let's see if the last will take 15 more. <gasps> no way. No way. So they've bought the house for 193. I've added on 15,000 pounds. Oh my gosh, we just made 82,000 pounds profit. Is that more than last time? I think it is. I think that's our best profits yet. And also, also you guys, it had a gaming room. Massive success all round. Now I have to go back to the shed that is my home. Let's see what other homes are. Does it give me more home options now? Look how far away it is because... Oh, it does. Oh, no, it doesn't. Maybe one more? I don't know. Maybe not, though. I think it doesn't. I think there's only... I think we've basically... We're making insane money. Like, literally insane money at this point. And I'm just so glad that I got to make a house with a gaming room. And it actually sold for pretty good money. So, if you guys would have bought that house yourselves, let me know in the comments below. Let me know what you think of the gaming room. Especially if you're in a couple. Do you like that there was a PC area and a console area as well? I thought everything through. Let me know in the comments below. And I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of House Flip. Say thank you to Kieran for making me play another one of it because I wasn't planning on doing it. And I'll see you guys in another video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.